Hello, this is Nikki. I wanted to show everybody the Hackintosh boot sequence because I know some people have had some questions about it. Um, this is my Yosemite install. It's set as a 3.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7. It's identifying as an iMac 27 inch just because that's one of the most uh, compatible machines. Uh, it does have AirPlay options when there is AirPlay devices uh, nearby. It's actually inside uh, here. This is a GA. 77X UP5-TH, as you can see it's got a Thunderbolt drive there. Um, currently I'm booting off um, my RAID drive, Oops. Super RAID, that's my, my main drive that I'm booted off here. I've also got Yosemite which is a single drive um, every night I have a cron job that backs up this drive onto this drive just to be 100% sure that I've got a backup should my RAID fail. I can show you my speed disk, disk test. I'm sorry I've got a cold. <coughs> so um, I will just, this is running off my, my RAID volume, my 4-way RAID 0 SSD with third party trim enabled. On a good day I can get 900 megabits per second write and 1300 megabits per second read as you can see there. Megabytes sorry not megabits. Now I'll just do a reboot and I'll show you what you see when you reboot. I just have to wait for it to shut down. So I went for um, I went for the Osmosis install because uh, I've been having trouble with Clover uh, in the past. I've never successfully got Clover to run actually, and I was still running on a Chimera bootloader, um, and unfortunately, it wasn't able to do everything I wanted it to. Ah, Chrome is doing things. Uh, this isn't a Hackintosh problem, it's happening on my MacBook as well. There we go. That's going to shut off. <coughs> okay, not quite finished yet. Waiting for the light to go off. And the light's just gone off, so let's turn it back on. <coughs> I'll try and go into the <coughs> into the boot screen. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does. I'm just randomly very quickly pressing F12 to try and get the boot menu up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. So this is what I can see on the boot menu. So Yosemite is the standalone drive I've got. Uh, I've got my Windows Boot Manager, Yosemite and Mac OS. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to boot into Yosemite, which is the standalone separate drive. <coughs> Excuse me. It does take a while, unfortunately. I don't know why it takes. It takes a lot longer on that drive than it does on the other one, even though it's a single drive. So um, this is this is going to be a cloned version of my hard drive as of last night, so it won't look any different. And I've kept this for the purposes of um, <coughs> Excuse me. I've kept this for the purposes of uh, a, a basically an emergency backup. So if my RAID does go, I have had RAID volumes fail on me before. Um, this is just a backup drive that lets me boot. And this is a really slow booting drive. This is sharing um, a drive with my Windows installation. And when I boot this up for the first time after being in um, the RAID for a while, it does seem to take forever. The second boot is always a bit quicker. So you have to bear with me. There we 
go. So this is um, this is a cloned version. Let me zoom out a bit. This is a cloned version of my drive as it was a couple of uh, well, as it was at midnight last night. So I set it up to to clone every night using Carbon Copy Cloner. It just ensures that, as I say, I have a backup drive. Okay, I can prove that it's that drive because I can go about this Mac. <coughs> Excuse me, and its uh, boot drive is Yosemite. Okay, so now if I want to reboot, go to System Preferences, um, and then I can go Startup Disk. I can tell it to start up on Super Raid. Do you want to restart on Super Raid? Yes. And you're just waiting for it to reboot. And I should note that this one is not really overclocked per se. It's running at 3.9. I've actually moved the the turbo. <coughs> Um, the base clock speed up a little bit, but turbo is still the same as it would have been on the stock system. Um, and this machine is designed to run very quietly because it's used in a live production setup. So at the moment, you can the majority of the noise you can hear is from my Thunderbolt drive, but also I've got an old um, Mac Pro 1.1, which I can show you down there, which is running Yosemite with a modified kernel. Um, <coughs> And this one, I'll just give it some time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the Gigafied modified BIOS, and then it should just go straight into my Super Raid boot, which it's just done. Uh, sometimes, interestingly, it reboots if you tell it the first time. It reboots, so it gets that first bit, and then it then it reboots itself when you set the, uh, when you set the raid for the first time. I do not know why it does that, but then it will carry on and it will boot quite happily the second time. And this is from the raid, and the hard drive noise you can hear is this Thunderbolt drive, which seems to be uh, slowing it down a bit when it boots up. But that's fine. I could live with that. So it sort of pauses there, and then any second now, it will go to a main, it'll go to the desktop. I really should boot it in verbose mode and figure out why it's taking so long on that. I should note I've got 20 terabytes of storage. That's 20 terabytes. So um, I think that's probably got something to do with it. It's probably scanning some of those drives, waiting for them to come online. once it's up and running it's fine and dandy and happy so I can go back into about this Mac and it will see it's booted from Super Raid all right um, now the next thing I'm going to show you is um, <coughs> I'm actually going to shut this down one more time someone was saying they couldn't see their raid volume from the bootloader that is attached to, uh, that's built in to the Osmosis uh, modified BIOS. So, uh, let me try that now. I'm sorry this is such a boring video. <laughs> this is specifically for some folks on Tony Mac who wanted to see the boot process. So, there we go. Right, so it's just switched back off. And then I'm going to hold Command Option PR, which should reflash <coughs> the PRAM. But actually, for this, I don't know why, on this particular board, with this particular setup I've got, it brings up the chooser. Don't ask me why. I don't know. She says. <laughs> it's not going to work. Oh well, let's just try that again. 
you have to time it right. The other button to press is the home button. So I'm going to press the home button and be really good. Nope, it's not going to work. Okay, we'll just have to take my word for it. Uh, when I boot into the uh, the disc chooser for Osmosis, you can actually see the different boots, um, different options, and Boot OS X is on there, which is the software RAID that will then boot the operating system. And I think that's why it does that double reboot when you turn it on first time around. Um, my hope now is to turn this G4 Cube into a Hackintosh using a gigabyte motherboard because I want to use the Osmosis uh, setup because I think it's great. Um, and hopefully uh, it will make things awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.